Today we will learn how to animate t-shirt color in Photoshop and make a GIF out of it. So let's get started. I'm going to animate the color of this girl's t-shirt. In the bottom section you can see the timeline. If you are wondering where you can get this, go to Windows, Timeline. And there are layers and properties panel already opened. You can use the window tab to show or hide any tool. Now to change the t-shirt color, we need to make a selection first. Take the quick selection tool and paint over the t-shirt. You can use any other tool as well like pen tool. It depends on your situation and your preference. The quick selection tool is not 100% accurate every time. So we need to refine it. On the header section, click on refine edge. You can increase the size from the top and paint over those areas where you think the selection is not accurate. Mainly we use it on the edges and speeding up the process, click OK. Sometimes even after refine edges, we still didn't get the good result. So if you want to go a little bit deeper, because in my view, it's not a good selection. So take the brush tool and click on quick mask mode or you can press Q. So this quick mask mode gave us the freedom to add or subtract the selection in a very free way. When you use black color and paint over, it will subtract from the selection. And when you use white, it will add to the selection. You can press X to switch between both colors and right bracket to increase the brush size and left bracket to decrease the brush size. After you are done, press Q again or click on quick mask mode. Now we are back to selection. We will make a duplicate copy of this selection. Select background layer, press Ctrl or Command J. Now we only have a t-shirt on a separate layer. You can see there's no background behind it. Let's make another copy, right click, duplicate layer. Because we will give two different colors in each layer. For the time, hide the top layer and create a duplicate frame in the timeline. Now go to image, adjustments, hue saturation. Make sure layer one is selected. In this option, by just changing the hue values, we will get different colors. Let's make it green. Click OK. Now select the frame one in the timeline, hide layer one, select the second frame, show layer one. Now we have two frames of different t-shirt colors. Let's add another frame in the timeline, unhide the top layer and hide the layer one. Then again go to image, adjustments, hue saturation. Change the hue value and let's make the t-shirt color to something blue. Click OK. By double clicking on layer, you can rename the layer if you want. It will make your process a lot more easier when animating something. Now we have three different frames with different t-shirt color. Let's add animation. While holding shift, select both frame first and second and click on tween animation frames. In the frame to add option, you can set number of frames you want to add between the twin. That means the color transition will have 20 frames if we set the value 20. And I don't think we want that many frames to be added. 10 frames will be sufficient. The rest of the values are looking fine. Click OK. Now the frames are added. Let's play the animation. This is looking quite good. Now select the 12th and 13th frame and add twin again. Value will be 10. Click OK. Now play the animation. The color change is smooth, but at the end of the animation, it abruptly changed to the original color. So we don't want that to happen. To avoid it, we will match first frame to the last frame. Select the last frame, add a new frame and hide the top layer. Now our original image is on the last frame, same as the first frame. Select both frames 23rd and 24th, add a twin, frames to add will be 10, click OK. Now play the action and see the results. It's looking awesome. It's looking so smooth now. If you want to add delay on the first frame, click on 0 on frame bottom and change the value to 1. Now when we play the animation, it will take 1 second delay on the first frame. You can increase or decrease the delay time of each frame separately. But if you want to change the delay time for every frame, select the first one while holding shift and the last one. Change it to value 0.1 second. Now each frame second is change. With this option, you can increase or decrease the animation speed. Let's change it back to no delay and save it as GIF. Go to file, save for web. In the preset value, change the value GIF. It's already set in my case. By default, you normally see JPEG here. In the image size section, you can change the size of the image and also reduce the percentage. Set it 50%. Make sure the reserve value is 100. And if you lower the reserve value, your image size will be reduced, also the quality of GIF. So in my view, I can compensate with the size but not with the quality. In the animation looping options, set the value to forever. 
It means the animation will never stop, it will run continuously. You can also set it to once if you want only one time animation. You don't need to change other values, so let's save it as animated t-shirt color. Now open it in browser to see the result. If you learn something new, hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon for learning updates. This is actually a basic tutorial on animation. Next time I will create an advanced tutorial for you guys. My name is Shubham. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Aina. Let's meet on another great tutorial for the time being. Goodbye.